My name is Frank Tamburino. Tonight we'll be talking about women in hypertension and how hypertension affects women in a variety of ways, whether it be through the development of heart failure, coronary artery disease, and stage renal disease, and the ways we can go about treating, recognizing, and how we can better educate women about what to tell their physicians about symptoms and signs, and what workups they should have. Hypertension is a silent killer. And it's very important that everybody realize that because all the end organ damage and the target organ disease and how hypertension affects all the different body systems to cause the problems that we see later on in life. Complications we see related to hypertension are multiple. The ones that we talk about from my perspective in a cardiac field is basically patients with CHD or coronary heart disease. Hypertension leads to blockages in arteries and coronary disease. It leads to thickening of the heart muscle and that effect is actually more profound in women. Women with hypertension who develop the thickening of the heart muscle that we term left ventricular hypertrophy, or LVH, tend to have this be more disabling. And down the road, the heart muscle doesn't relax as well, and it can cause a different type of heart failure we call diastolic heart failure. Medications, with few exceptions, you know, you really want to make sure you're on something you're comfortable with and something that works for you. Everybody's different. Pregnancy and the conditions, if you were hypertensive in pregnancy, be aware you need to control it, that you're not still hypertensive, that down the road you may come hypertensive. Test your doctor, challenge your doctor, get a cuff, bring it in and go over it with them. Weight loss, weight loss, weight loss, extremely important. Uh, Postmenopausal women understand this new onset of hypertension. And remember, you're not the same as men, you're just better. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys.